This is Adios. In November of 2023, I downgraded this account from an ultimate Ironman to a regular Ironman with one goal in mind. I want to take on the biggest challenges within RuneScape, and I want to obtain the best gear in the game. Follow along on my Ironman progress series. Well, if you guys watched episode 14, we ended it by AFKing at Trouble Brewing to do the Mauritania task. That game is over, and so now we have the Mauritania Medium Diary completed. We're going to go do the Hard Diary. Okay, so first we get the Easy Diary. I don't think there's anything really too great. Oh, I didn't know about the Slayer XP boost at the Slayer Tower. That's pretty good. Uh, next, let's get the Medium Diary. I don't think there's anything too great from that, but now it's a 5% bonus. And then finally, let's collect our Hard Diary. So this one's big. We get double Mortmire Fungus in the Swamp. Um, that's, that's a really, really, really big deal for an Iron Man because I have to get the Mortmire Fungus myself. We also get more runes from Barrows. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing Barrows anytime soon, but that's nice to have. We now get 7.5% bonus XP in the Slayer Tower, which is pretty significant. And then it says the Disciples at the Ecta Functus have something for me too. I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to go look real quick because that is news to me. So let's talk to one of the disciples. Oh, let's put our ghost amulet on. Um, oh, I forgot. Oh, man, what am I thinking? Uh, yeah, so that's a big deal. We get the bone crusher now, which is the whole reason I was doing this to begin with. Um, so we're going to be using that. I wanted to get that out of the way before we hit Slayer too hard because that's going to help get some Slayer XP I mean some prayer XP while we're doing our Slayer XP. Now let's go ahead and let's use these lamps. You guys know I'm going to use all three of these on Slayer. That's level 62 Slayer, which I don't believe unlocks anything. Um, but yep, that is a lot of Slayer XP. So we're almost level 63. Not bad. All right, so with that done, I really want to go do Beneath Cursed Sands. One of the first things I want to do on this account is do Tombs of a Masket. And my gear really isn't where I want it to be yet to really, really grind it out, but it's good enough to maybe do a few runs just to try and get some seeds and stuff. So um, that's what I want to go do next. All right, so we are going in for one of the boss fights. It's not the chick with the dragon scimitar that just like wrecks your shit, um, but oh, I think I'm pretty magic, right? Um, but yeah, it's this champion of scarabs. And I mean, look at look at this guy. Look at this freak. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I really have got to start watching guides before I do this. What the freak? Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, I might die here. I mean, it's literally easy. Like, <laughs> like what the heck? That boss sucks. All right. So we are on the final boss fight right now, which is against the Minified Auk. And she is a bad bitch. There she is. Holy crap. She intimidates the hell out of me. That Dragon Scimitar does work, boys. It does work. Um, so we're going to pray against Melee and we're just going to try and kill her. GLS. What is happening? What is happening? What the, what just, what? All right, we're gonna try this again. Holy crap, she runs fast, man, damn. Okay, there we go. She's defeated. 
All right, so there is Beneath Cursed Sands completed. We got 50,000 Agility XP. We can now do Tombs of a Masket. And we got a Karis Partisan as well as a Circlet of Water. That gets us to level 72 Agility. And this is going to be possibly our best melee weapon at Tombs of a Masket for quite a while. And then finally, the Circlet of Water is really, really good. Um, it basically works kind of like the Desert Amulet that uh, Desert Heat doesn't affect you, but you do have to charge it, I think, with just Water Runes. Anyway, it is super good, and I'm going to be using that a lot whenever I go back to get um, Buckets of Sand to train crafting. Well, we sent the first TOA on this account. The first TOA was a 350 Invocation level raid. Which went fine. I died at Kefri because I didn't know uh, that you can't drink jugs of wine when on a diet is on. Obviously, I don't have a way to eat. So I literally, like, I, I just slowly died and there was nothing I could do about it. But anyway, um, I'm not going to do too much of this right now because I really need to get more crystal shards on my crystal armor. But I just wanted to test it out and it went pretty good. All right, we are finishing up our first TOA on this account. I guess good luck us. But really, I'm not hoping for purples even that much. I'm just kind of hoping to get some seeds and that other good stuff. All right. First KC on the account. Do we see the purple light? We'll know in a second. We do not. Well, I think it's time I address the crystal shard situation um, with all the PVM that I'm wanting to do right now. I need more shards to charge my crystal armor. And I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and do this. The fastest way, which is going to be pickpocketing our good friend Muriel here again. Uh, let's see if we can get one of those enhanced drops again. Well, I've pickpocketed about 400 elves so far. No sign of the crystal, which is a little bit disappointing because I am so far behind on the drop rate. So I was thinking, hey, maybe I'll just go get spooned one right quick. But that's not how RuneScape works or RNG. So uh, we might have a ways to go. Dude, Muriel freaking hates my guts look at her look at the way she's looking at me you can just tell by the look on her face she hates me and she hits me all the time anyway we've been here over a thousand pickpockets guys and guess what <laughs> we don't have the seed why would we get the seed this account doesn't get those things like there's no reason for us to get one all right well it's been 1500 pickpockets still no sign of the enhanced teleport crystal so i think i'm going to be taking a break I don't need them that badly right now. I've got 83 shards now just from doing the regular pickpockets, which should be enough to get me down the road. So I'm just going to put like maybe 25 on um, each of these pieces of crystal armor right quick, like so. And that gets us up to what? About 3,000. So that'll last me quite a while. I do want to come back and eventually get the, the next enhance so that I can put um, like a hundred shards into each but for now this is a decent start because um yeah pickpocketing is not fun all right guys let's talk so i really want to do more tombs of a mascot i want to do some raids i want to see a purple light i want the dopamine and so in order to do that i would really like to upgrade my gear so i would like to send a little bit of bandos and see if i can get a drop and in order to do that, I really want Bones to Peaches. So that is why I am where you can see that I'm at right now, which is the Mage Training Arena. I'm going to work on getting Bones to Peaches, and then I want to send a Bandos trip. Well, I think to kick things off, I'm going to go ahead and do the Graveyard Room. I think I need 200 points, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to work on that. All right, with this final deposit here, that should be 200 Graveyard Points. Um, and so now we're going to move on to the alchemy room. Hey, there is level 80 magic from the alchemy room. Not bad. All right. Well, we're at 10 K. So we start getting that super annoying message every time we try to alk. every single time we try to alk. So we're going to go ahead and deposit that gets us up to 180 points. And we also got a decent little magic XP drop there. Um, so we got quite a ways to go, um, uh, about 120 points and then we'll be done with this room. All right, so I believe with this turn in right here, yes, that gets us to 301 um, alchemy points, and that almost got us halfway to level 81. So this is pretty decent XP. It's really weird to me that the alchemy room is good XP and the other rooms are awful XP, but anyway, that is alchemy done. All right, I just uh, did a little bit of AFKing at the enchantment room while drinking my coffee for the day. So enchantment's done. 
And uh, now we just got to go do the telekinetic room. Yes, there's 204 telekinetic points. By far the worst room. Very glad to have that done. And just very glad to be able to go do some interesting content now because uh, that is not the funnest thing to do in the world. So anyway, let's go buy Bones to Peaches and then we're going to go do a Bandos trip. Okay, so I guess I just select Bones to Peaches. Confirm, Bones to Peaches. There we go, we get the collection log pop up. I didn't know that's a collection log, it's kind of weird. But anyway, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go make some Bones to Peaches tablets so that I can also use thralls at Bandos. So I think we have to go make a demon lectern and our POH and then we're gonna make some tablets. All right, so the first thing we have to do is buy another one of these silly little gold leaves which is like 140K or something like that. kind of feels like a waste. Um, but then we have to go to our POH and we're gonna have to build a new study room because the one that I am uh, currently have already has a lectern. I really wish they would add like a second space or something rather than having a whole room to my house um, for something that I'm not gonna use that much, but it is what it is. Um, it has to be done. So, oops, I can't do it over there, I guess. Um, okay, I'll do it right here. We're gonna go ahead and build the study. Confirm, build. And then we can build in the lectern space, the mahogany demon lectern. And then here I can do bones to peaches. However, I don't have any soft clay with me. So I'm gonna go get some soft clay and then we're gonna make some of these tablets. All right, I am back. I've got my soft clay here. And now I just hit create and there you have it. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how many of these I'm gonna make. I'm probably not gonna make too many right now Maybe just like 50 of them or so and then we're gonna send bandos All right Well, we just made 74 bones to be just tablets and also I just wanted to point out these Mauritania legs three have a really good teleport because You're actually pretty close to a bank and um, also It's also just like nice to be able to get here. I don't know if I ever do barrows or something I might use it if I don't have the teleport built yet, but anyway it is time for us to go send some bandos. Okay, so I have actually done two KC um, so far and they have not gone well. So I've gone back, I've watched a guide again. I'm gonna try this again. I know a lot of people do the six to zero method where you kind of run in a giant square around the room and it uses more stamina potions, which is fine. But more importantly, the DPS is quite a bit worse because you're shooting like Sometimes you're you're shooting every seven or eight ticks with a four tick weapon. So I wanna try the alter door method instead. You know, it's probably gonna be tougher to learn, but I'd rather just learn the right way, which is the most DPS, and um, you know, hopefully over time get better. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna send it, and I'm gonna bring you guys with me on K KC attempt number three. All right, here we go. Good luck us. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pop a thrall, and I just, I'm already taking damage, which I shouldn't be taking, but the second he hits, we start the method, and I'm gonna probably die. Oh my gosh, okay, so this isn't going well. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we are doing it right now. Okay, and so now I think I attack this one, kill it as quickly as I can, and then flick the other two. Okay, well, the good news is we were able to get a kill. Uh, the bad news is the second kill is about to start. I got to get food up quick because you have to start this thing like fast. So I'm totally doing the method right. I'm just not hitting. Well, we just had to teleport out on the third kill because the thing I'm struggling with is I'm not killing the minions fast enough to heal up at the end of the kill. Like I'm doing fine on the method. It's just that I can't kill the minions quick enough. So I don't know what to do about that. Well, I'm kind of bored and don't know what to do right now. So I think I'm just going to go do some quests because it's probably good for the account to get these done. So I'm going to go do Cold War real quick. All right. There is Cold War completed. Up next, I would really like to go do making friends with my arms so that I can do more efficient herb runs. 
And I think I have all the requirements. So yeah, I'm gonna go work on that. All right, so we just went and knocked out making friends with my arm. We got a lot of agility XP, mining XP, fire making XP. I mean, we got everything. Um, but most importantly, we can now get the salt thing so that we can teleport to both of the uh, herb patches over here. All right, just stocking up on some icy and stony basalts. This is going to help a lot for doing herb runs. Nine Turiel passed down. It is time for task number 90. And let's see where the Dura Daddy sends us. Oh, big moment, big moment. We're going, ooh, that is exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted because although Bandos didn't go well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go try Zami and see if we can get a Zamoraki and Spear to turn into a Hosta. All right, so I'll be honest with you guys. I just did my first KC and then I immediately died by the minions because I forgot to bring a super anti-poison and the poison stacked me out. So I got my super anti-poison this time and I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna be using the exact same method as last time, which is the altar door thing. And you know, we're just gonna hope it goes well. So, you know, as always, GL us. Well, I sent several of these trips and they were just brutal and uh, I really wasn't enjoying myself. So I took a little bit of break, went and did some raids, didn't really get anything noteworthy. And then finally, I think I kind of felt the courage to go back. I went back and did a few more kills at Zami and I started to get the method down pretty well, but I do think if I had brews, I would be able to do a lot more kills. <laughs> All right, there's a steam battle staff uh, on KC number four. Very weird. All right, well, I decided to go ahead and do the Lumber Char Diary, and we just completed it, so I'm going to go get my reward real quick. I didn't realize, but this is actually unlimited teleports now to the farming patch, which is uh, super helpful because before I only had three per day. And then we get it, our antique lamp, and I'm going to put that in Slayer. Um, don't think that got us a level. Well, I accidentally clicked through it, but we just got level 89 farming. Not bad. Okay, I'm done. I, I really gave Zami a solid try, um, but I just think I have to wait until I have a higher range level, higher defense level, maybe better gear if I could get like an anguish and a ring of suffering or something. Um, it would help a lot. I, I'm just, I, I just feel like I'm wasting so much time and I just feel like it's super inefficient. So I'm about to just go finish this task up at the catacombs because I still need um, all the arc light charges anyway. So I'm going to go do that and get back to Slayer. This is a very sad moment for me. I'm disappointed in myself because typically I can be very stubborn and just like no matter what, I'm going to figure out a way to do it. But realistically, like I think you have to know when to cut your losses. And if I spend another 10 hours trying to complete this Zami task or who knows, maybe even more, I mean, I could get a ton of Slayer XP in that time and, you know, have a higher range level and better gear and everything like that. So I think this is the move right now. I'm sad, but it has to be done. All right, there is our Greater Demon task completed. We're going to go do nine Turiel tasks, and then we're going to have task number 100 at Konar for a huge little uh, Slayer XP point boost. And then I think after that, we're probably just going to start regular Slayer where we're going to be doing every single task at Turiel. I'm sorry, correction. I meant we're going to be doing every single task at Duradel. Um, Turiel and Duradel just sound so similar. I get them confused all the time. And any second now, there it is. Level 64 Slayer actually during one of the Turiel tasks. Oh, no. Please let me get this. Please let me. I, I'm, I'm risking it, man. No. No. Okay. Well... That was the last kill of the task. Um, there's 450 Slayer points that we just got from that. And so now that puts us up to a grand total of 787, which is just really nice. I got to go get my stuff real quick. All right. So it is time for us to just start regular Slayer. No more boosting. But first, let's spend some of these Slayer points. So first and foremost... Um, I know I want to unlock Basilisk because I would really like to go for a, um, a Neotsnot Jaw. So we're going to unlock that. And I'm kind of thinking I might just go ahead and extend them. This might be stupid, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, so yeah, there's that. Next, I want to unlock Tazars because um, this is actually super good Slayer XP per hour. 
and then we've got 500 points left. Um, I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and get Slayer Helm, but I think I'm just going to hold off because I think I only need it for Dust Devils, which I can't, I, I can't even do them yet anyway. Um, I'd also really like to get Fletching, but and more importantly, I'd like to have some points to play around with so that I can block some tasks and also skip some tasks. So without further ado, let's get our first task. Elves. I think I might be skipping that, but I'll let you know in just a second. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to skip this task. Also, 117 is quite a lot of them, so let's skip that and let's try again. Basilisk, there it is. So we have not actually done um, the Fermanic Isles yet and whatever the new... We, we, we need to do a couple Fermanic uh, quests before we can actually do this. So let's go get those done and then we've got 219 Basilisk to kill. All right, there is Fremenic Isles completed. Now we just need to go do Fremenic Exiles so that we can kill the Basilisk Knights. All right, so I had to do Mountain Daughter before I can do um, Fremenic Exiles. So there's that completed. All right, we're on the boss fight, killing this giant snake looking thing from Harry Potter. Um, so after that, I think it's quest completed. All right, so there is the Fremenic Exiles completed. We got 53 thousand slayer xp from that man that is juicy and fifty thousand crafting xp and thirty thousand rune crafting xp my goodness that is really nice so that gets us to 65 slayer which is the dust devil level and i guess that's the only level, level we got but um with that i guess we're gonna have to get a slayer helm pretty soon but anyway for right now we're gonna go do our basilisk task all right, so let's talk about our Slayer task. I am going to be killing Basilisk Knights because they drop the Basilisk Jaw at a rate of 1 in 1,000, which can be used to make the Nietzsche Face Guard, which happens to be the best, uh, or I'm sorry, the second best in slot melee helm in the game. It used to be the best in slot, but it is no more now that Torva was introduced. So anyway, um, I saw a method online that I'm about to try where you can aggro one of these, and then you can stand on this spot right here and then I'm pretty sure if you attack from here and quickly switch to your shield, you can, yeah. So you can you can do this to basically use your Bofa. And um, anyway, I'm going to maybe play around with this, but if it doesn't work, I'm probably just going to use a rune crossbow. But um, yeah, see, I already messed it up. Anyway, we'll see how it works. I would like to do this because I think I could get through the task a lot faster, but I'm not sure if it's going to be viable. Yeah, that method was uh, really not fun. So I'm going to be doing this instead. I'm just using a rune crossbow with my adamant bolts. And I'm just using the doorway here as a safe spot. And I'm also using a bracelet of slaughter to try and get a few extra kills here. But um, yeah, it's a one in a thousand drop. We've got at least 200 of these to kill. So let's get, at, let's get to it. All right. So since I'm doing this task with a rune crossbow, I think I should go ahead and buy the broader fletching perk. Um, currently I'm using adamant bolts, but I'm going to need these for ruby bolts probably in the future. And I don't have too many of them. Whereas if I buy the broader fletching, uh, broad bolts are the same stats as adamant and you basically have unlimited of them. So we're going to go ahead and spend the 300. Also, this is really nice because it is, uh, the best way for me to obtain fletching XP on this account. So anyway, we can just buy some of the, uh, packs here. Oh, I got to go get GP. But anyway, we're going to buy some of those packs, make some broad bolts, and then get back to the task. All right. Well, somebody in the clan chat just got a 1KC uh, Dagon of the Supreme pet, which is kind of crazy. But anyway, um, I have gone through an entire two full bracelets of slaughter during this task. So this should be my last kill, though. And yes, it is. So let's go ahead and collect our coins. And then um, looks like... If we take a look at our loot tracker, we did a total of 230 kills here. This was a very, very long task back at Duradel, and we just got greater demons. I am considering both trying Zami again, skipping this, and blocking this. Um, so not sure which of those to do, but um, yeah, I'm going to ponder on this one for a minute. All right, so I decided to go ahead and block the Greater Demons, and I got a new task, which happened to be Blood Builds. Great task for me. I went ahead and bursted them. And the reason that I blocked great, uh, Greater Demons is because I really only need it for Zami. And right now, I actually don't think I need a Hosta until maybe even Hydra, because I did a little bit of DPS calculating, and Bofa is very good at Baba, which is actually better DPS than um, a Hosta and 
for Kefri, the Karis Partisan is better than a Hosta. So the only place I would use it at TOA, which I'm going to be doing to get the Fang, which is the best stab weapon in the game, is only for Akka melee phase and also a little bit of Warden. So I think I definitely made the right decision to just go ahead and block the task. All right, so we just finished up our Bloodveld task and we gained 58,000 XP from that. So that is a pretty juicy task as far as uh, XP goes. And also, obviously, we used a lot of uh, Bracelets of Slaughter because we got 319 kills. So again, just really loving the Bloodveld task. All right, so we are going to be cashing in the Org Bones from o uh, Zogar Flesh Eaters. And dang, we didn't get any double uses, but those are, I think, actually the best XP in the game. They're like 100k each or something ridiculous. And then I just brought some uh, Dragon Bones while I'm here. It is time for another task. And we get Blue Dragons, which we will not be doing. So let's go ahead and cancel the task. And let's try again. Lizardmen. Ooh, a chance at the Dragon Warhammer. I'll take it. Nice. All right. Lizardman Shaman grind is underway. I have a hard casket and I just want to go ahead and open it. I don't want to wait. Oh, we got a collection log. The rune heraldic plate body. I don't think I have a use for that. I don't think it's a clue step, but still cool to see. All right. So that is the Lizardman Shaman task completed. We did not unfortunately get the Dragon Warhammer. However, we did get a lot of really good uh, loot. And so I'd like to show you guys my new and improved Slayer uh, tab here of just loot and stuff that I'm getting from Slayer. It, sh it says on Runelight that I have like almost 7 mil worth of loot. Now, obviously that's like GE value. So I think like a lot of the unsold heads are inflating that quite a bit. But needless to say, I mean, we definitely have a lot of money here once I alk all of this, uh, which I plan on doing pretty soon. Duradil has assigned us 137 Tazars which we are going to be bursting. It's actually one of the better Slayer tasks I can get as far as XP rates go. But we're going to save that for the next episode and we're going to end it right here. Happy uh, Valentine's Day to anybody watching this video today. And for those of you who are not, I just hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.